and an unlikely candidate is the Democrat Democratic frontrunner for the 2020 presidential is race. Is it Al? It's not Al. According it's to a new poll, Hillary Clinton, <laughs> Hillary Rodham Clinton, is leading with a 21% vote. Although she's not running, she's followed closely by former Vice President Joe Biden. Here's what she recently said. Take a listen and think politically, okay, on the Graham Norton Show. I especially have been deluged in you know, the last few weeks um, uh, with uh, thinking about uh, doing that. But right now, I'm not at all uh, you know, planning that. Um, I'd have to make up my mind really quickly uh, because it's moving uh, very fast. But I do want to continue to influence the debate. Ladies and gents, that was not a no. If you speak <laughs> D.C., Tory does, that was not a no. So DBL Nation, should Hillary Clinton enter the 2020 race? Okay, let's start with Cassie, Kathy from Facebook. She said she would be great, but the drama and lies surrounding her would be too much to deal with. Listen, I'm going to defer to my friend Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold him, know when to focus. I love that song. Know when to walk away. <laughs> this ain't it. Please, the, the, the pool's already stuffed. Nobody wants another candidate in there. Just please, no. Mm -hmm. Kenny Rogers is your friend? No. Okay, <laughs> all right. In my head. You know well, Kenny Rogers? Take that name up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Shar from Facebook says she should be in prison, not running for office. Um, yeah, hot sauce Hillary, I don't, I don't think um, that she should be thrown into this uh, already, like with like Lindsay said, already full Democratic uh, campaign. Uh, but if you said Michelle Obama, just maybe. Maybe. I mean, she, I think she'd, she'd run she away with run. it. No, yeah. why would she? She's, she would living never her, run. she's hanging out with George Clooney, his wife. She's cool. Maul, come she's on. Fine. Yeah. Uh, Sylvia from Facebook says she was voted to be the president by the people and, al and already but was robbed by the crook that is now in office. I say yes. Uh, Sylvia, to your point, I, she did win the popular vote by three million votes and it still didn't matter. So, I mean, why would she get into it now? I don't know, but I think she's kind of seeing that now she might be able to kind of be herself and maybe running for office might actually be fun because she can just be honest and doesn't have to be robotic Hillary that she had to be last time. So interesting. Maybe I hate to be that on the fence, but sh that was not a no. It's like when a coach yep. is up for a job and they know they're going to leave for more money in a bigger school, but they're like, I love right now school. I'm really happy with right. Tinyville State. Uh, <laughs> we're having great. I don't care about Notre Dame right now. It's like, yes, you do. <laughs> you do. And, Stop and, it. and Tori noted this. It's never too late to jump in. Never, I was ever, ever. that earlier. But to the already ever. stuffed pool. There's yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, Fred from Facebook says, no, let's move on. It's Sad if this is the strongest choice out there. Look, I will be 100% honest, honest with you. I found Hillary very robotic, but I do think she's incredibly qualified. Secretary of State, she led a beautifully, she led with almost no scandals whatsoever and no uh, uh, abuses of power. For the Benghazi situation, she went 12 hours in and got testified and everyone found that there was nothing there. So here's the deal. It might be a stuffed pool, but that pool might be filled with people not qualified to rise to the top. And if her name recognition and her coming out to be herself, like she's on the Graham North show what are you doing there and the Howard Stern show what are you doing there that's mm. called campaigning oh 